For it's in him that we live and move and have our being. Right. So Mary and Joseph searched and didn't find Jesus. But they didn't give up. If you have been searching for Jesus and haven't found him, maybe you've been looking in the wrong places. Right. Mary and Joseph are looking in the wrong places. Uh -huh. However, they were determined to find Jesus. Yeah. Young people, we must be just as determined to find Jesus. Amen. You have looked in your neighborhood and didn't find Jesus. You have searched in your home and couldn't find him. You looked in the school and didn't find him. You searched among your relatives, friends, and associates, and yet you didn't find him. And if you find and and, and if you finally search the church and didn't find Jesus where you expected to find him, don't give up. Maybe there's still one place that you haven't searched. Yes, sir. Just when Mary decided to retrace their steps back to Jerusalem, perhaps they might have left them along the way, mm -hmm. but he wasn't found along the way. The Bible says that after three days, they found Jesus. Yes, now, there's something about those three days. Yeah. In three days, Pharaoh restored his butler yeah. according to Jesus according to Joseph's interpretation. Mm -hmm. yeah. After three days of sanctification, Israel crossed over the Jordan. Yes, sir. For three days, Israel prayed and fasted mm -hmm. for Esther as she went before the king. Yes, sir. And now, after the temple, and now after three days, Joseph and Mary found Jesus in the temple. Mm -hmm. After three days in the tomb, Jesus took up his life yeah. and went to the temple in heaven yes, to sir. visit his father. Yes, sir. Today, Jesus could still be found in the temple in heaven, at the right hand of his Father. So, if you're looking for Jesus, look no further. He's in the temple at the right hand of his Father. That day, when Joseph and Mary found him in the temple, he was reasoning. Reasoning with the thinkers, lawyers, and even the teachers. Today. He can be found in the temple above, pleading your case before the Father above. Yes. Hebrews 7.25 says that he lives to make intercession for you and me. Yes. Jesus is in the temple, and he wants to reason with you. Yes. Come now, he says, and let us reason together. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Yes. Though they are red like crimson, they should be as wool. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 1.18 You may have left him behind, but he won't leave you behind. You may have forgotten him along the way, but he's your only one. I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man comes unto the Father but by me. And if you need to retrace your steps, he'll order your every step in his word. He's in the temple in heaven. His Father's house. Mm -hmm. He's in this church today. Yeah. God's house. Yes, the question is, is he in your body temple? Amen. Is he in your temple? Mm -hmm. Your friends shouldn't have to ask, where's Jesus? Right. They should see Jesus in your temple. Yes, Remember that although Jesus is above in the temple, your friends should still be able to see him in your temple. Amen. Why don't you open your heart's door and let him into your temple? <coughs> Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man or woman, young or old, hears my voice and opens the door, mm -hmm. I will come into him and sup with him, yeah. and he with me. Mm -hmm. Jesus wants to dwell in your temple. When Philadelphia asks, where is Jesus? Your neighbors should be able to point to you and boldly say, Jesus is in the temple. Yeah. Yeah.